Hello and welcome to Steve's Physics Channel. I'm Steve, and in today's video, we're going to be dealing with a one and a half kilogram block that's sitting motionless on a 38 degree incline. We want to find the normal force and the coefficient of friction of the block. So at this time, pause the video, try it by yourself, and when you're ready, I'll show you how I did it. Welcome back. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. First thing I did to solve for this was I wanted to make sure I wrote out all of my known variables. In this case, we know the mass, we know the acceleration due to gravity, and we know that we're on a 38 degree angle, and it says that there must be friction, and we know that the overall acceleration of the block is zero, because it's sitting there motionlessly. Next, I went to draw a force diagram where we have force of gravity going straight down, we have the normal force that's perpendicular to the inclined plane, and we have friction that's going uphill. Now, to make this a little easier, I'm going to rotate the forces so that the normal force is pointing straight up and friction's at a side, and then the force of gravity is down at an angle. This makes it a little easier so that there's only one of the forces that's going at an angle instead of two. Next we're going to break that force of gravity up into its components. And also it's important to note that there is no acceleration in this problem because it tells us that it's sitting motionlessly on the inclined plane. And if it's sitting motionlessly and there's no acceleration, that must mean also that the sum of the forces is equal to zero because we know if there was an imbalance of the forces then it would be accelerating in one way or another whichever direction had the most force so I first went to solve the coefficient of friction and to do that I looked at the x direction or the new x direction and we know that the sum of the forces has to equal zero. And the only two forces acting in this direction are the force of friction in one way and the component of gravity that's pulling in the other. And we know that these two have to be equally to each other because when we add them together, it should equal zero. And when we write out what each of those two forces is, we have friction being coefficient times mass times gravity times the cosine of the angle. We can set that equal to force of gravity, which is mass times gravity times the sine of the angle. And you'll notice both of those have mass times gravity in there. So we can cancel that out and then solve for the coefficient of friction, which is equal to sine divided by cosine. However, that is just the definition of the tangent of the angle. Since we know the angle, we'll just plug that in and solve for the coefficient, which is 0 0.781. And this doesn't have a unit because this is just a ratio. Next, we want to find the normal force. And the way I did it was to use the definition of friction. We know that the force of friction is equal to the coefficient times the normal force. Now, we rearrange that to solve for the normal force, and we know what the coefficient of friction is. We just solved for it, and the force of friction, according to our force diagram, is actually equal to the y component of the force of gravity. And now we just have to plug in those numbers into our calculator, and when we do, we find that the normal force is equal to 11.6 newtons. Hopefully this problem wasn't too bad for you. If you do have questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content just like it. And until next time, have a great day.